Why do people hate Marvel so much? Marvel or the Marvels? Captain Marvel. I, I don't know why people hate her so much. I don't understand. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with her, so why the hate? <laughs> What's up, Geek Gang? What's up, Geek folks? Hope you're good. I'm Jay. I'm Lainey. And we're here to talk up geeky. Yes. The Marvels. The Marvels. Spoiler right. alert. If you haven't seen it, we're going to talk about spoilers. Yeah. Let's get into it. Let's get it. All right. So, um, the story. I can be fair with this. Mm -hmm. um, I think the story was mediocre for me. It wasn't a lot. Why? Um, why is because I think most of the most of the important stuff fell over from Captain Marvel to this movie, and how everything fell over with, in the terms of the conflict with Darben, um, okay. the villain, um, the conflict that came over, and it was a short little minuscule part that you see in Captain Marvel, mm -hmm. and to have it bring over into into the marvels it, you, you kind of questioning what happened what really happened it's it's in the marvels it's it, yeah it's no, in the marvels not in, not in, in captain marvels. marvels it's in the, it's in it's the marvels, in the marvels why, they, why it happened everything just seemed a bit confusing at first i mean you know what I, mean? I think that they could have dwelled on it more i think that your questions are being answered in the marvels right mm -hmm. because captain marvel's like yo i'm killing supreme you know, intelligence, mm -hmm. bang, boom, bow, mm -hmm. right? And then, you know, it plunges them into a civil war. So that's how, like, Darben actually comes to power. Mm -hmm. But because of the civil war, now their resources are just... <clears throat> so with that being said, like, now you have Darben, who's actually... I think they should have really made her more dimensional as a villain mm -hmm. than what she was. Because she was just really a, like... Ah. She was, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, like... I really feel because of her motivations, you actually could have really gravitated to Darben, mm. but because it just made her so one no flat, either that or, you know, Nia, you, you go girl, cause you, I, I think you did a good job, but I think you could have brought Darben out more mm. to be more layered. Now you see the thing about <clears throat> it is that to me, Darben seemed a little bit, well, not a little bit, but she, she did not, I didn't just feel no threat from her villain. I agree. From her, from her character. I agree. There was no threat. There was no seriousness. It was just like, oh, I got to provide for my people and that's it. But overall, for the story for me, I'd give it a, a 6 out of 10. See, I, I disagree with that. I'm just going to say that, like, I hear you. Mm. I think that they, she definitely had her reasons and they were good. It just wasn't fleshed out. I will actually agree with you on the 6 for other reasons. <laughs> Because I also would have liked to explore um, Captain Devers, okay, being a little bit more of the antagonist from the Kree's eyes. Mm -hmm. That would have been kind of cool to see. Mm -hmm. I also think it was a little bit hokey on how they got all three of them together. Once they got them together, I was okay with it. I love the team up, but it just was like, just all of a sudden we're using our powers and we're... I didn't like that. Mm. I, I thought that that was just like lackluster yeah, like on how they came together. Yeah, it, it was just, very it much just, like bow unwrap, boom, and it's just like I want a little bit more it's, mystery. It's, it's like it's like they to how they got together. It's like everyone is kind of expecting it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's like wow, you know, <clears> we're here, but how everything is 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 formulated. They could have done more creatively. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm now, saying? First fight scene where they were switching the powers, that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was cool. You know what I'm saying? But, but like we, I said, no, how yeah. they got it together? As, yeah, for the story, it, nah. It, it, what's your uh, opinion for the story? Though? Like I said, I agree with you on a six, just for different reasons. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think it was a bad story. I just wanted more from that story. Oh, okay. So the acting now, uh, wow, I, I think I'm going to go for uh, Iman Velani, and I'll mm -hmm. give her a solid 10. Why oh, is because I love her geekiness. Yes. I love, she just she being is us. a kid. Yeah. She's us. She's just being a kid. She's just being excited, knowing that she's going to be working with uh, Miss Captain, uh, Captain America. Captain America, Captain Marvel, Boing. and her geekiness is just—it seems 
it seems natural. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And, and I like that. I like that. She's like, ah, oh, she's so geeky. And mm-hmm. oh my God, I'm going to be working with you guys. And, you know, I think. And it felt so authentic. Yeah, it, still, it felt so authentic. Definitely, I give Imani the, 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 the spotlight for that in terms of the, the acting. Yeah, Iman mm-hmm. was great. I, I felt like she was us mm-hmm. as fans on screen. So we were well represented. Mm-hmm. Um, Brie Lawson. Listen, I know she has an Oscar. Mm. I am just not crazy about her in in the Captain Marvel role because mm-hmm. I feel like she's very one note. Mm-hmm. I, I feel like there are not a lot of dimensions to her emotional contact with everything. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, me personally, just like if she opens her eyes and she's supposed to be surprised or something like that, like she acts with her eyes and that's pretty much it for mm. me. So, but Miss Paris, mm. Queen Paris, yeah. Yeah. Queen Paris, let's mm. go. I, I'm... I'm enamored with her. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just like, oh my God, it's just great to see. I need more. I need more. I need more. And her hair. I just, I don't know. I, I'm, I was just really just enamored just seeing her. Mm. But she got from an acting's too. point of view, the girl can act. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Home girl can act. Mm-hmm. She stole it. She killed it from me. I was great. For the, for the most part, the three of them. I thought they were cute together. Mm. I thought it was a good team up. So um, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm, What you thinking about the action? Uh, Action. What the (laughs) is that? Uh, To tell the truth, action, I'd I'd probably give it a a 6 or a 5. Why is because... uh, that opening scene. Yeah. You, know what? you know what? You know what? I'm, go- I'm, I'm, I'm giving you this perspective as a as a male, and as an avid comic book crazy nut dude. I believe that the action scenes should be on par with um, with Winter Soldier, with Civil War, that type of shit. I I I would prefer that. Um, However, why I give it a five is because the fight scene when they're at the house, Mm -hmm. when they keep on going back and forth and everything, Mm -hmm. that fight scene was really good. Okay, that's what I thought you were talking about before. So you're talking about actually when they are on... um... When when they were in different locations. Yes, basically. when they were they when they were on the planet. They would have to like interchange and fight. And they were evacuating the, people. No, not that scene. That scene, the, the scene where um, they were fighting and they were in Imani's house. Yeah. Yeah, and and we're talking about the same thing. Yeah, they're basically that, I, that scene. I love that scene. Okay. That scene when they were interchanging and Vilani, um, Imani went on the ship. Mm. I keep on calling her Imani. It's yeah, Iman. Iman. Yeah, she was on the. Sh- she went back on the ship mm. and then she had to fight and she was yes, sliding yes, and all that shit. Yes, that was, yes. That, that was awesome. For a comic book movie, I think it should have a little bit more geekiness of comic book fighting. I was seeing much of that. That's me. Only wildly different. Than the, what you the, said. the other thing, the, the only thing that I seen that was mm-hmm. um was more comic book based was that fighting scene that I liked. Okay. When they were interchanging and all that. I I can that, agree with that. That, that looked, I can that, agree with that. That was awesome. But other thing, but other everything else, it, it just it just <laughs> seemed like a family movie. Um, to it me, was. I, it was a family movie, but okay, you know, we I'd took our daughter. It, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'd prefer it to be on the level of a Captain, um, I've seen my Captain, Captain America, Winter Soldier type stuff. You know, what I mean, that's my opinion. You know, what I, mean? I was fine with it. I, I think like if you're talking about from execution, that is such a high bar to have mm. because um, Captain America and Winter Soldier. That fight choreography throughout that film, the action, the action scene, was action. freaking amazing and intense. Exactly. Um, but that's what I, I'm just I'm talking from a guy's perspective. I'm talking from a talking male about, perspective. Why well, gotta be from a guy's yeah, perspective? Yeah, because about from a we want to see. Because remember, as a DC fan, I would love to see shit like that. So say that from a DC fan, not from a guy's perspective. Okay, well that's it. That's it. I'd love to see stuff like that within. Um, Marvel and, and you know Marvel doesn't show that show it um, action scenes that much like that. Not, I mean, not, not that much. You okay, know? if, if, if listen, I was probably fine with the action scenes. Um, again, my highlight was definitely the first one that when they were interchanging at the top of a you know at the drop of a dime. Um, I felt like it was it was decent. 
Um, the CGI for me worked for what they were trying to do. And I think that it felt natural within those characters within the certain situation. Mm -hmm. For those characters to me to be so bent on fucking destruction in the intensity of like Captain Marvel and Winter Soldier mm -hmm. to me would have taken out of it. Okay. So I really feel like it was on par with what we were getting. Okay. Okay. So okay. for me, I was fine with it. I, I I give it an eight. Okay. Eight. Visual effects was good. Visual effects was really good. I was good. about to say, did you like anything? Because you just been kind of dogging it. Uh, no, that's why. <laughs> It had its time where it was like on a wow factor. It's like, wow, that's awesome. You know uh -huh. what I mean? um, especially with um, Iman, Iman going back and forth with her fist and she, you know, shooting off the thing mm -hmm. and all that. Oh, that was crazy. It was good. Um, that section, that, that portion of the movie where they were evacuating people and, yes. you know, that section that was, kind was of good. Dope. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, the, 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 the visual effects was, was pretty dope. I agree. Mm -hmm. I, I give it also an 8 out of 10. Yeah. That is cool. Yeah, definitely. I give it an a, a, a 8 as well. Okay, so let's talk about the overall. Overall, I give this movie a 6, 7. I, I, no, let, let, me not, let me just focus on one number. I'm going to give it a 6 and a half. Um... As I tell you earlier, this movie is too much of a family. You know what I mean? Uh, what the hell did you uh, expect from the Marvels? Uh, uh, what did you expect from Captain Marvel? Come on, man. Okay, now we have I, a founding I, young Avenger. Yeah, okay. Man, you got full time. What I've, the? I, now, I, what? But, but, but it's your opinion I'm just belting out my thing got you so um, to me I think it's it's um, it was a little bit quirky and I, and I can <clears throat> understand why people you know was kind of if I'm butting about seeing it or they would have their opinions against it it was a good movie I ain't gonna lie it was good mm -hmm. but for me as a hardcore comic book reader from DC and all of that I'd prefer something as I say like like the Winter Soldier or Civil War type mode, you know what I mean? I prefer that. Um, the the villain was eh, I agree. Eh, mm -hmm. The villain was eh, the story was okay. Was was okay. Mm -hmm. Um the action scenes was, you know, it was pretty good to a level, not great, but overall I definitely would give it a six point five out of ten. That's that's my end game. I'm gonna give it a eight. Okay. I enjoyed myself. Mm. I did not need it to be Winter Soldier. Um, no, seriously, I, I I stand by that. I I'm I'm gonna give it an eight. Um, I enjoyed myself. Like I said, I I think that once they came together, it was mm. a nice um team up movie. Mm -hmm. Um, and I I don't know. I don't know why it's getting the hate that it's really getting. Um, mm. should it be a billion dollars? Absolutely not. But should it be at like I think um the last uh, tally was like almost two hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't think it should be that either. Mm -hmm. I think it should be a little bit more than that. Mm -hmm. But again, it, it it sucks that their production budget was so much that regardless of what it makes, it's probably going to be a bomb anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. I would say still go see it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I would say it. also say it. If you yeah. have kids, we definitely brought our daughter. Mm -hmm. Our daughter was transfixed. Mm -hmm. um, she was happy with it. Um, and I was happy with it. I'm mm -hmm. okay with it being a little family fun because I don't think we need the Winter Soldier all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like the Winter Soldier and its type of thing has its place. So. Okay. Na, 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 na. Yeah, so na, 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 the post credit scene na, though. The post credit na, na, scene na, na, na. is something <laughs> that kind of got me hyped as hell. And why I, it got me really hyped is because we're finally getting into X-Men. We're finally getting into X-Men, ladies and gentlemen. And that's all I need. That's all I want for us to see many characters in X-Men. And of course, I, I believe it's going to start with Deadpool and Wolverine. Mm -hmm. 
coming back together or whatever, I'm, whatever. I'm not gonna lie, I like I like the fact that they brought mom back somehow. Who? Um Rambo's mom. Oh yeah, yeah. Like that was crazy. Cause I'm like, yeah. is that oh, her? Yeah. No, that's not her mom. Mm. All right, so you bring back that actress. Let's oh, go. Let's go. Yeah, I'm here for it. Yeah. So between it's that, be a mystery. And then the Young yeah. Avengers. Mm -hmm. yeah. We got. We gonna be eating. Yep. We gonna be eating. So yep, yep, Marvel. Yep. yep. Especially. Let's yeah. see. Oh yo, I forgot about that scene where um, uh, Imai, Kate Bishop. Imai, Imai, yeah. Imai yeah. Was, yeah. She started um, doing her little, she her, her, her little Sam, recruitment. Her Sam <laughs> Jackson um, yeah, routine. That was, that was dope. That mm -hmm. was dope. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to see what they're going to do with the Young Avengers. But yeah. yeah. All right. Well, uh, of course, guys, if you like and you think, if you watched it already and you like it, let Comment us know below. in the comments. You know what I mean? Check us out on Instagram and TikTok. That's Roy Tag Geek by Hearts. All right. This is your first time here. Don't let it be your last. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification. So you know when we are dropping the next video. I am Lainey. And I'm Jake. And we will see you at the next video. Peace.